मुश्किलें बड़ी हैं ये मुश्किलों से कह दो मेरा खुदा बड़ा है मेरा खुदा बड़ा है मेरा खुदा बड़ा है Om Shanti, good afternoon, Asians. So today's topic is how to overcome the impact in an increasing chaotic situation. Baba has already clarified what scenes will be there in the end. There will be natural calamities, civil war, atomic war, evil spirits, and souls own evil sense scars will emerge. So we should be powerful enough to face all the situations. We should be ever ready to go home by becoming equal to Baba and we should reveal Bab Dada to the world. We have to create Sato Pradhan atmosphere around the world. We had to purify the whole humanity, including five elements. The first question is, I feel consciousness of I and my at subtle level especially about logic work. What efforts I should do to overcome such consciousness of I and mine? To remove I and mine at a sub subtle level, one need to surrender oneself to Baba. Everything belongs to Baba. Nothing belongs to me. My body, mind, wealth, possessions are all belonging to Bab Dada. So Baba was telling yesterday also, when I say I, I should think I the soul and when I think about mine, mine is Baba. Secondly, recently I sometimes dream events long ago coming out or never thought that they may even come out what effort I should practice for avoiding such useless dreams. To avoid useless dreams, consciously we need to let go of the past. Sometimes we are holding past in our conscious or subconscious mind. So we have to let go of subconscious mind also and have awareness. I have died alive. This is my new birth. 
I am a Brahmad and my old is past life. Next question is, I understand the final chaotic world is coming soon. Then I should face the terrible events in front of me. Please advise three most important efforts we should now make for overcoming such situations in the near future. To face chaotic, terrible elements of future, three things to keep in mind. First, remain observer of drama and see the scenes as nothing new. Secondly, be under Baba's canopy. And third, be stable and unshakable. Fourth question. Baba says, make your nature easy and all tasks will become easy. In the chaotic situation, how can the easy nature work? Whatever is nature will happen naturally. So if you are easy, everything will become easy. And at that time, one will not become tense. So remain easy and light so that one can meditate and catch Baba's touching. Next question is, Baba says, in all directions, the cries of sorrow will increase. At such a time, there will be need for the souls who have the practice of giving light and might. Please give some examples. How can we give light and might to others practically? What we need to do is have the practice over a long period of time. So if one has got that practice over a long period of time, at the end one can spread light and might very easily. So, from now onwards, we should practice being lighthouse, might house. Next question is, Baba says, claim some inheritance from unlimited father before the cries of distress begin. So what is the difference between some inheritance and full inheritance? The difference between some inheritance and full inheritance is when we say full inheritance, it means inheritance of kingdom of 21 births. And when we say some inheritance, it means kingdom of few births, or it can be royal status, or it can be subjects.
Next question is, various changes have been seen among the students since last year. For example, some new student took classes with great enthusiasm for months, but suddenly they stopped their efforts and stopped coming. And students over 10 years stopped coming to the centers and little by little stopped taking even online classes by seniors. On the other hand, old, powerful BKs are still stable and constant. So there is a contrast. Is the only way to go give good wishes to students who haven't come recently? Pandemic has affected many souls. Some souls have developed interest to study meditation. Some souls have lost interest in studying. And some have become lazy because they are getting Zoom classes so they are happy to take Zoom classes. They don't want to come to center and gradually they lose interest even in listening to Zoom classes. So our aim should be have good wishes for them. Talk to them in a friendly way. Don't blame. Because sometimes you say, oh, what's happened? What is wrong with you? Why aren't you coming? Now, don't ask that question, but be friendly and check, how are you? How is everything getting along? And keep them informing about the Zoom classes of seniors or buddies. Sometimes they may develop the interest. Next question is, the influence of impure souls will increase more and more. Physical diseases, the bondage of relationships and waste thoughts will attack souls. What should we be careful about to be free from those influences. To overcome problems and obstacles in the end, one needs to be very powerful yogi and stay beyond. Be under Baba's canopy and have constant remembrance of Baba. Then we will not be affected by external situations. Baba said, you must be able to be a karma yogi in one moment and to have the practice of being karbatit in the next moment. Please explain about such a stage specifically and how can we practice it? To be karma yogi Whatever job you start, start in Baba's remembrance. And now and again, check whether you are in Baba's remembrance. 
as soon as we are free from mundane job we should take the mind to the subtle region and as an angel have chit chat with bab dada so mama says practice being in this world at the moment next moment go to the subtle region so that practice should be our very strong and very easy and the final question is what are you doing to speed up your spiritual efforts baba was telling yesterday only that now it's not time to make efforts now it's time to have intense efforts so my efforts are first is going beyond secondly remaining observer of, of drama and see the part each one is playing and third remain in constant baba's remembrance that's my effort at the moment so now let's see what questions didi the first question is have the advance party souls attained their karmati stage if so then they are still in this old world how are they interacting here those advance party souls who have left body they are now in another body hmm advance party so they are in a body but not in gyan hmm and their aim is to help in establishment of the new world hmm. so they are busy trying to establish new world so if they are karma teeth it means the karma should be over but they are still interacting with people here so you know there's give and take with people how come they should be finished like brahma baba is karma teeth he is free but they are still you know with a mother family um is it a different type of karma karma teeth means they have reached the stage of perfection hmm. it doesn't mean that they don't interact with anybody hmm. even from subtle region brahma baba is in a subtle way helping hmm. us so he is also busy in spreading good vibration touching the intellect of many souls mm. so whereas this souls they are not aware of their previous birth but they are friends and planning what we should do to help new better world of purity peace prosperity mm. didi if in the center two souls are having an argument and i am the center instrument the main in charge then if people are arguing do you just let them continue arguing and settle their karma or should we try to interact and calm them down 
Is it our job to do that? I think we should try to interact media, med, 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 mediation. Mediate. Mediation. Mediate between them, calm them down, because aim of all Brahmins is to see the atmosphere around is peaceful. Yeah. Sanskar classes will be there. Yeah. Different sanskars will be there. If we see Yajna story, everybody had different sanskars, mm. no doubt. But they had love for Baba, love for task. We should have love for Baba's task, that we are instrument to carry on the task of Brahma Baba to establish peace in the world. So we should be peaceful. Yeah. Sweet discussion is fine, mm. but not argument loudly. Didi, with lokic souls who leave the body, do they also go to the subtle region and meet Brahma Baba and realize that what the Brahma Kumaris are saying was true? It's a lokic person who is in touch with us, but not a Brahmin, family members, friends. Will they know when they leave this body that yes, this was the truth? Will they? Will they know that this is the truth? In the end, Baba says, Everybody will know the truth. Mm. Because in the end, our powerful stage will reveal Baba, mm. the truth. Today's morally also Baba was says, your face should be a mirror in which everybody can see Baba. And that will be there in the end. So whether laukik or alaukik, because there are some Brahmins who have left, yeah. they will also come back to Baba, because this is the only shop. Okay. Um, Didi, at the end, which type of attachment can pull a soul? Is it of laukiks? Is it of seva? Is it just my old sanskars, you know, that I haven't purified? Which will pull us at the end? Different souls will be pulled mm. by different things. Mm. Because those who have attachment to their friends or law kicks, mm. they will be pulled by them. Mm. Those who are attached to service, they will be pulled by service. But main thing, that's what Baba has been advising us to be completely detached from body, bodily relations, old world, possessions, and even service. So that we are able to remember only one Baba. Mm. So if I want to only be in remembrance of Baba at the end, then what intense effort do I need to make to just clean out everything, you know? Because even though you say sit in yoga, okay, we sit in yoga, but then there are still attachments, there are still things that are pulling us. What can we do along with remembrance to help us completely let go? To see whether I am detached from there or, or not. Mm. Now in the early days of Yajna, dadis, what he used to do is imagine that their mother is dying or their friend is dying and see what was their mental state. Mm. So they were checking themselves and 
if I have established all relationships with the Baba, mm. if I am attached to my mother, my aim should be to consider Baba as my mother and take all support mm. from Baba as mother. So whichever relation I am attached to, especially I should experience it in a practical way and take all support from Baba, mm. not from human being. Because we are so much used to take support mm -hmm. from other human beings. Mm. Yeah. Didi, in today's Murali, Baba said that if we don't have any account of accumulation, if we don't accumulate, mm -hmm. you know, today Baba said, through the power of drishti, we have no accumulation, then we will be deceived at the end. You know, Baba said in your account, you don't have enough. My main thing is, yesterday Baba was saying, I should not just earn and spend. Mm. First, I should not have any sinful karma. Mm. And whatever I'm earning, I should not spend. I should increase the account of charity through thoughts, words, actions, relation, etc. So more I have accumulation of charitable karma, mm. that is the thing which I will carry with me in the next birth. Mm. You think some Brahmins don't have enough? Of course. That's why Baba has been <laughs> mentioning. <laughs> Baba has been, one more day recently he gave that you are doing too much service through words. Mm -hmm. And words also you are not economizing. More you economize your treasure, more you are accumulating. <coughs> mm, Didi, you recently mentioned that many Brahmins have been leaving the body, especially in the last two years, and becoming part of the advance party. So, what are the qualifications for a Brahmin to go into advance party? I think most of the Brahmins have cleared our karmic account. Mm. Those who are living. Mm. But if they haven't left, uh, finished the karmic mm. account, naturally they will have another birth as a Brahman. Mm. But very few will be born again as second birth Brahman. Mm. If parents have karmic accounts, can it affect children or grandchildren through vibrations, through sanskars? Everybody has their own karmic account. Mm and they have to clear their own karmic account. Mm. If children or grandchildren are affected, it means that is also their karmic account with mm. grandparents, mm. because if they are attached, grandchildren are attached to grandparents, mm. then they will suffer because grandparents are suffering. Mm. So that is also karmic account, their own grandchildren yes. or children. And that's why they're born in that family, because it's all connected. Mm. Didi, at the end you said that we will give visions to people, you know, as angels. What kind of visions will we give them? That there's one God or Brahma Baba or... It depends. Because even now when I am meditating powerfully, 
in public program. I remember at the end, some people share their experience that I saw your face disappearing mm. and I could see only light. Or once I was told they saw Dadi Janki's face through me. And sometimes they have seen Christ, sometimes they have seen uh, founder of a Jewish, who is that? Abraham. So some of them, they're, they're founder of their religion. So different time, different people have already shared with me. And in the end, our all will be, we will be in such a powerful stage mm. that some will have vision of Shiv Baba point of light some will have vision of their special deity, Lakshmi or Saraswati mm. or Ganesh or somebody. So depending on our powerful stage, we will be giving them the vision. Mm. So it depends on us, but also on what they need both ways, no? Didi, some of us have sanskars of working very hard, maybe our lokic life or whatever. So we even make things which are easy in Baba's life, in the Brahmin life, we make it so difficult for ourselves. So it's almost like an external influence. How can we change that? We have to change with jnana and yoga. Consider yourself as instrument. Mm. Baba is Karavanhar. And I'm not responsible. Mm. Because when I think I am responsible, my task, then I become heavy. Mm. Now we have seen the Adi Prakash money. And we talked to Dadi, Dadi, how come you are so light and cheerful? Mm. You have got so much responsibility because at one stage she was looking after foreign countries as well as Bharat was his all centers. And Dadi says, it's Baba's task. I'm just instrument. So when she used to go to sleep, it took her just a couple of minutes to fall asleep mm. because she was so light. She didn't have to worry mm. about anything. Yeah. Didi, is the end of the cycle when Baba is revealed or is the end of the cycle the atomic war? Will Baba be revealed at the end or will there be nuclear atomic war at the end? Baba will be revealed. Yes, at the end of the cycle, yeah. end of the kalpa. Yeah. Even after Baba's revelation, will the war continue or? Yeah. We never know because war will not be everywhere. Mm. Atomic war will affect few countries. Mm. Other countries like Bharat, we will have natural calamities and civil war. Mm. So, but everything will be happening at the same time. All five continents, all mm. five elements, will create chaos at the same time. Mm. So it will be happening simultaneously. Mm. On one hand, war is happening 
and when people are dying they see the light and they say oh god has come so there will be a lot going on on the one hand people will be getting visions leaving the body on the other hand the old world will be destroyed somewhere there's also establishment going on krishna will be born didi will you be with us till the end someone is asking i am not sure i am not sure what baba has role for me mm-hmm. whether baba wants me to be with uh, sangam yogi souls or whether baba wants me to be in the advance party it depends on baba mm. this question was asked to me by dadi janki oh many years ago yeah once she says where will you be and then she answered mm-hmm. you will be where baba wants you to be <laughs> what do you feel didi you think you'll stay here longer you are needed here obviously i feel because i think there is not long time mm. for destruction as you see this pandemic is not going no and uk every day more than 50000 patients are dead us UK, russia or uk, UK also mm. russia also is more than 1000 mm. but uk is so high mm. uk fifth variant yeah it's amazing how india is okay india is relatively very calm and baba seva i don't know if everybody knows but baba seva is amazing in the three campuses mm. didi if we sit in front of bab dada's picture can we take power and virtues from baba's picture why not i find through trance light we can really feel baba alive we can feel baba love mm. power through baba's drishti so even like last night baba online mm. how much powerful atmosphere was created mm. yeah i guess it depends on us no didi if we yeah. Are, yeah how avyakt we are mm. more we are avyakt more will we catching power there's a question about that as well what's the difference between baba's touching power and my own intuition my in- intuition is what my my door heart says mm that this is going to happen whereas baba's touching is like an answer to my question mm. i had some question or situation and if i catch baba's touching then i know what's to be done how to be done and with my power 
I am able to free, be free from obstacle or problem. So Baba's touching is more than my intuition, much higher. Didi, if lokic relations leave the body and we offer bhog in the center, can we do this year after year? Because it's good for our family. They come to the center. You know, they have that vibration. Or do we only do it once for lokics? It depends on how close the family is mm. and whether what sort of a situation is. Mm. Because now in this pandemic, even everything is done on Zoom. Mm. Memorial service is also done on Zoom. Mm. So hopefully this lockdown is over soon and we are able to invite family to the center. Mm. So there's a question, Didi, when will double foreigners come to Madhuban and what will be the conditions for that? I think from 15th November, India is opening for the tourist. Mm. So you will have to condition will be PCR test before leaving your country yes. and when you enter India. Not for vaccinated, only for unvaccinated. For vaccinated people, no PCR test. No? No. The guidelines came just two days ago. Unvaccinated people, PCR test, seven days home quarantine. Vaccinated people, no PCR test on arrival. And if you are from a Isolation? Only self-monitoring. And then there are a few countries, Didi, where they have said they are at-risk countries. They have to be seven days quarantine. Only problem is all the three complex mm. have booked programs until June? No, March end. Mm. March end. And uh, we will try to accommodate and I'm trying to get 15 days season. We, I'm going to talk with Moini Ban and Jayanti Ban and we will fix some dates and confirm with Munni Ban, whether double foreigners can stay in one of the complex or whether one of our buddies can be transferred to Mansarovar. Mm. Yeah. Because uh, Mansarovar I visited, there is accommodation for 2,000 people mm. and there are only 400 booked for each bhatti. So there are chances that 400 Brahmins who were supposed to be in Gyan Sarovar can stay in Man Sarovar. Mm. Or if double foreigners prefer to stay in Mansar over, mm. we can have one building for them. Mm. Yeah. Somebody is asking if we have OCI card, you know some Brahmins have, and they get a chance to come <coughs> to Madhuban to travel to India, can they connect with you and ask and see if they can come? Yeah. Didi, what is the connection between the crown of responsibility and being surrendered? Surrender means nothing is mine. 
body, mind, wealth, everything belongs to Baba. Mm. That is true surrender. Mm. Whereas crown of responsibility means I have taken responsibility to look after certain Baba's tasks mm. or, or center. Did he at the end, will people only get visions or will people also go into trance? Both. Both. Mm. Especially, Baba tells, just as in the beginning, mm. Baba entertained everybody through trance. Mm. In the end, he will entertain Brahmins through trance, and from us, people will have vision. Okay. Lokic people will have vision from Brahmins. Mm. And um, Didi, somebody is already responding. We don't want to stay in Mansarovar. We want to stay in Madhuban. <laughs> already, they are writing replies. That's good. <laughs> if you are letting me know, we will plan like that. And did he... But months are over, I went, it's quite beautiful. Mm. Quiet, modern buildings, mm. and very nice. Did he, one question is coming that if BK center in charge is not vaccinated, how can the students attend the center? Because... If somebody checks, who will pay the fine? Will it be the center or the student? In some countries, it is mandatory mm. that those who are inviting public yeah. or being in the public gathering should be definitely vaccinated. Mm. If it is mandatory, they have to get vaccinated. Mm. But some countries are not. Even in Australia, the rules are different in different states. Yeah. So it depends on their country. And if people don't want to get vaccinated and they're living in the center and it's mandatory, it's a risk then it's not good. Mm. Then they have to leave the center. Oh. If it is mandatory yeah. and they are staying in center, we will have to tell them to leave the center. Didi, this is a little bit different question, but if we are renovating our house, you know, does Feng Shui really help? These Feng Shui, Vastu Vidya, Feng Shui, Vastu Vidya, uh, these things, do they really help when you are renovating a house or a center? It depends on your faith. <laughs> if you have faith in Feng Shui, you get it done. Mm. And last question, Didi. At the time of destruction, what will happen to all the animal souls? Because, okay, humans will go, but there will be so much suffering. Animals will also suffer. Will they also come to golden age with us? What will happen? Some of the animals will come to golden age, mm -hmm. like peacock, mm -hmm. parrots. So some will come to golden age. Mm -hmm. The others, as far as I think, it will be like Noah's Ark. Mm -hmm. There, some seeds will be there, and then they will emerge again in corporate. Yeah. So it is possible that some may not extinguish completely. But some will extinguish because uh, 
in golden age baba also describes there will be very beautiful cows mm. peacocks nice birds which will be chirping in the morning mm. to wake up us mm. we won't need to have amrit vela alarm or music we will have chirping of the birds which will wake us up so i think that will be the situation that's it didi the next week is the diwali okay. party okay om shanti so next sunday it will be 10 o'clock and we will have diwali celebration this time in madhuban we are having light celebration because dadi gulzar has just left body about 8 months ago so we have thought of having light celebration but brahman like to have some some sort of celebration okay om shanti and let us have 5 minutes powerful meditation before we say goodbye
ਸਰਹੀ 